Yo, what's up, my super nerd fighters? It's Friday, September 17th. But it's really Thursday, September 16th. Except, switch the really and the actual, whatever. It's Friday, but it's supposed to be Thursday. Um, I had a really busy day. I had a paper due today that didn't start until last night, and it was just a really long night. And I had a lot of meetings yesterday. And I've been sick, and my throat was clearly not working very well. So, hopefully I'll make this quick. Um, my favorite day of classes, my Tuesday, Thursday classes, I have two classes. I'm finished at 12.15, and I realize I only have one class Friday, so, like, that should be better. But, like, then I don't do anything afterwards and I feel like so much more productive on those days so I just like kind of like those better. The song that my roommate and I when we were in bad moods we sing it's called I Hate Everyone by Ready Set Go. I think yeah. It's a, just like kind of a fun amusing song. I like it. I've known it for years. Um so also I have to cartwheel down a hall. I'll do that later. So I'm not gonna cartwheel because I can hardly cartwheel and like the hall is kind of narrow. But I'm gonna do some like other things you'll see. Um this home group thing for your church. Is that like home like Kingwood? I'm just wondering. Also, hi little bear. Your roommate seemed cool. And hi little bear. He seemed cool too. I want a dog. So you're such a grown up. You have like an apartment and you have basketball courts and a kitchen. And I like have nothing. I feel like I'm not a grown up. My favorite books. Okay. I, sixth grade, Devil's Arithmetic. But I also really like the green book. Um, and I also really liked Invitation to the Game. Like sixth grade, we had awesome books. Phantom Tollbooth, right? They were all good. Um, Seventh grade, all I can think of is the mud, muddy banks, which is not my favorite, and the, the light in the forest, the Indian book. But so seventh grade, I feel like was like blah, for books. If you guys remember a good one, let me know. Eighth grade, we read The Hobbit. I feel like we read other good things too. I just don't remember. Um, ninth grade, I liked a separate piece, and I did like a last bad one. Um, I also liked the ones featured King, but I'd already read it. But, um, 10th grade was awesome for books. Okay, I think my favorite is probably Les Mis. I really like Jane Eyre. Um, that's all I can think of right now. I really like... 11th grade, I really like Catcher in the Rye. Um, senior year, we, like, just didn't read. So, cool. So, Jamie, we're we'll missing you. Come back. And, um, Jeff, I'm glad your birthday was super awesome. My question is, what is your favorite color highlighter? Because I'm just looking at my highlighter. And, like, yellow is my favorite. Um, I had a blue one. It was dead. And I also just, like, don't like other color highlighters because they're too dark. So what is your favorite color highlighter? And my challenge is for you to <clears throat> make some sort of sculpture -y thing out of, like, objects on your desk or, like, around your room or something. Um, color, sorry. You can't, like, tell, but that's a light blue. Okay, maybe you can't tell. Um, it's the same color as our YouTube background on our channel because that's in the back of my thing right now. Bye! Have a good weekend! So I can't actually do cartwheels. Well, I can, but I'm afraid I'll run into, like, a pole or something. So I'm going to do these things that my, these dance exercises that my dancey roommates taught me. Okay. Super Nerd Fighters. It's Thursday, September 23rd. Hey, Moon Shoes Potter, Star Kid Potter, not all of us are rich enough to have a dad by a spaceship. Have you ever been to Mars, Potter? I'm sorry, this is actually Monday. I've just been very busy and sick. Blood, blood. Grab, grab, smell it. Is it blood? That's my invitation. Sorry, it's just I realized I had to do that like 30 seconds ago, and it's just not bad. But I do have the tie, so that makes me awesome, right? Okay. Um, I, this is gonna be really incoherent because you just watched like last week and now this week. I don't really know how I'm editing it, but whatever. It's just like a bunch of weeks together. So, Jeff, I hope that you are not sick and that your 21st birthday was awesome. Although I did hear that you fell asleep at your birthday party, so I hope that it was still awesome, even if you fell asleep. Um. 
how many shoes? Okay, four pairs of shoes. Just counted. Oh, and two pairs of flip flops. So six. And two pairs of boots. Okay, eight, eight shoes. And then I have like broken shoes that I did not count. I don't know if you want me to count them. These shoes have like, they're like ripped on the bottom and they get wet when I walk, so I just don't wear those. And then these cut my heels and like there's blood all inside, so like I don't count those either because they're kind of unwearable. So I guess it's eight pairs of shoes. Um. I did not know that about Dr. Pepper. I thought that Dr. Pepper and 7-Up were Pepsi products. Um, I was really unaware of this, and that is really good to know. Because I was like, Mr. Pepper's Coke and Dr. Pepper's Pepsi. I am now enlightened. Um, also, um, the wedding song. For my wedding, I want this, or not for my wedding. If I was in someone's wedding song, I guess it kind of depends on whose wedding. But I'm pretty sure I want this song. It's called Minis Morgul from Return of the King. <laughs> I think it sends a good message for the happy couple. Also, the song last week that I was supposed to play you is this song. It's called I Hate Everyone by Get Set Go. I think I talked about it. I'm just going to sing you the first verse. Some stupid chick in the checkout line was paying for beers with nickels and dimes and some old man with coupons. And the argument would ever be wouldn't take one. All I want to do is buy some cigarettes, but I couldn't take it anymore. So I left. I hate everyone. should go listen to the rest of the song because it's rather amusing. Um, other things, um, football games. Um, I've been to all of our home football games. Um, we've lost last two, we lost last three games, last two home games. Um, last Saturday, like two days ago, it was cold and we were, ho we hadn't scored a touchdown. It was the end of the third quarter and we were losing horribly to Stanford and so I just left um, and ate dinner. Um, I've never left a game before, but I felt like I was deserting the team, but not really, because I just didn't care. So we've been kind of sucking. Um, yay football. Not really. Okay. Oh, that doesn't say yay football. I was wondering why I wrote that. It says yay fall, because it's like 50 degrees out right now, and it's awesome and wonderful, and I love it. I love it. I get to wear, like, a sweater and just, like, be awesome out. Anyway, um, I hope everyone has good luck on midterms. And, oh, who I want to narrate my life. The only person I can think of is Liam Neeson, who, like, is the voice of Aslan. And he, like, narrates a bunch of stuff. Like, I watched this thing about, like, the origins of the universe and the Big Bang. And he was just randomly narrating it. And I was just like, that's interesting. He has just kind of, like, an epic voice, you know. So he'd be kind of cool to narrate it. The Whataburger guy, that's really weird, Jaren. Just saying. Um, so, yeah. Okay. I hope everybody has a good end of September.